Please describe your boxing shoes. <laughs> My boxing shoes? Well, I'm a big fashion guy. So, I guess these boxing shoes are uh, the Zen Master ones. Uh, these are honestly like my favorite pair of ones ever that I probably even ever looked at. Uh, the kind of lavender ash with the very hints, slight hints of pink um, is like super, super easy to blend with a lot of things. Like I said, from pink to um, lavender colors, even blues work very well with um, these ones. Like again, big fashion head guy, so shout out to Swatch. They have a Majin Buu watch that I wear all the time with these sneakers and that alone, that combination is just such a strong statement. What about your t-shirt? My t-shirt, uh, I'm a huge Juice World fan, rest in peace, the GOAT. Um, his music just, it's, it, it, it's, it speaks to my day and age, really. Like I, I spent a lot of time as a young kid just kind of kind of just trying to drown pain out, you know? And I'm grateful, very grateful that I didn't take it to the extreme as Juice World did and I get to see 24, you know? I'm probably, I'm a healthy young man. I've, I'll probably get to see 25, you know? Willing, willing the universe, I, I, I make it there. But I, I think it's important to have that that knowledge and awareness of these things like with addiction and with just depression because although these things it's kind of true what some of these influencers say nowadays that it is kind of easy to overcome these things you've got to really just push yourself out of it and we all have the power within ourselves but still things are hard to overcome and they don't just happen in a heartbeat and the struggle of getting through it sometimes is depression sometimes is anxiety sometimes is excuse me sometimes it is just having no motivation to get up in the morning you know and it, change just doesn't happen all in one shot it really is mostly like a roller coaster you go up and sometimes you're getting up at five o'clock in the morning doing 20 push-ups eating, taking your shower, getting right out to do whatever you got to do for the day. And some days you're in bed till 12 o'clock. You, you, you can't, you're scrolling on your phone through Instagram or, or whatever. But you got to, that's why consistency is the most important thing and everything. Going right back to it. If you stay consistent, even if it's the smallest thing, waking up and doing five push-ups every morning at a certain time. That is improving yourself. For a non-English native, can you give me some slow lines from him, please? From Juice World? Yes, please. Woo, uh, that's, a, that's a heavy one, because to think about like, because don't get me wrong, Juice World rapped a lot of, about a lot of negative things. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard for me to like give something out that would really be like representative of who he was. You know what I'm saying? Because like off the top of my head again, and that, that probably just speaks to how much of a Juice World fan I really am that I can't really think of anything that really gets me there. But maybe I'll just say like one of my favorite ones is... Um, My heartbreak is on the way, I'm good for the moment. That's a line from Rental, one of my favorite songs. Um, and he's basically just saying really quickly within the whole verse of where that line comes from, he's kind of just describing the mask that we all wear on a regular basis, you know? Like, we gotta keep that face, but really a lot of the times our heart is just broken. We're dealing with trauma and scars and we're just trying to smile in the face of everybody and find reasons to do so. We're trying to make this sport an Olympic sport. Will you support that? I'm, I'm way behind it. Way, way, way behind it. Like, handball deserves it. 
the sport itself deserves it and i think honestly we're on our way there the things that they're doing uh across across the atlantic in the uk is great for the sport we really really needed that support and i'm glad to see that they're really really making the efforts these strong players from out there to come to our king of the court tournaments to come to our big tournaments it really shows how new york city is really like besides you know of course the ogs that brought it to us from ireland and stuff like that it, it, it new york is the birthplace of a lot of things it brings this city brings things to the forefront of 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 culture for the whole country and then after the country the world follows suit a lot of the time i've said this a lot uh, um for a very long time new york is really truly the pinnacle of culture for the entire country it's the hub more so than hollywood los angeles and all of that new york is always ahead of the curve on everything when it comes to fashion when it comes to music we as new yorkers create the trends that that the world just loves and has to follow that's why they say if you can make it here you can make it anywhere because you got to be the best at what you do to make it in this city there is an irish international tournament mm -hmm. this summer oh yeah oh yes so there's gonna be international uh, new yorkers that are gonna go and try to compete there. right um like tavo do you so, think he's gonna be think he's gonna be going over there? Well, he has to. He's 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 the top, right? Yeah, I mean, but I've noticed that a lot of these top players pick and choose, you know. And you kind of have to with how the sport is. You 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 can't go in. You have to know. You have to be very 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 talented. Like I said, I'm a decent player, I guess. But the people that. The range of players above me is so insane. From like just barely better than me to like Davo Master level, the gap is huge. It's huge, huge, huge. And even then, there's a gap between myself and, and players out there. So you kind of have to, in that high level from those top players, it kind of, you really, like I said, you have to pick and choose your tournaments. Because if you play every tournament, especially with handball's popularity picking up, maybe five, six, seven years ago, you could play every tournament. Because there was only a tournament like once a month or once every two to three weeks. You had enough time to rest and, you know what I'm saying, and recuperate your energy, practice, work on what you fucked up in the last tournament. You have some space. But now there's like when the weather gets nice, especially again here in New York, you got a tournament like every week, every weekend. It, there's always something going on, whether it be doubles, singles, something's happening. So, in order to keep yourself in the top, in the top position, because you don't want to play tournaments and lose, and then that that alters your standing and stuff like that, and and you losing to people you shouldn't be, you know, things like this you have to all account for, and that's what really shows a sign that handball deserves its spot as a named sport especially like an olympic sport because it takes a lot to be the best at handball because so many people have been developing skills that are so incredible so to be the best you have to get those skills and more thank you no problem man it was great talking to you same sir thank you